Um, the last test is going to do is a pop-off pressure test. Um, I couldn't actually find anything to plug the, the fuel outlet hole, and it's kind of hard to record this. Uh, you know, like one hand over the out, outtake valve, and one hand operating the pump, and then somehow holding the camera to show the valve. So, I got a whole bunch of these, uh, these crappy foam earplugs. Um, actually, my ex-girlfriend's dad was a pilot, and he was cleaning out his garage, and he gave me, like, a, like a whole box of these. I have way too many earplugs. Anyway, so... Um, keep in mind again the bicycle pump leaks a little bit at the at its pressure pressure gauge. Um, so after the after the needle valve opens up, it'll fall continue to fall just a little bit. Um, but here let me let me just show you how this works. Let's see if I can get a good good recording on video so I can pump it up, 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 pump it up. Op it opens up around 23 psi or a little bit little bit higher than that, about 24. And it doesn't fall below 20. And again, that that the, the, the falling is is the bicycle pump it's a crappy valve. But so yeah. Um, let me just get it one more time so maybe you can hear it. And then here I'll show you if I detach if I detach the bicycle valve, the 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 pressure holds. So. It's 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 just the the crappy bicycle pump, but um yeah this is this is the homemade pressure tester just a uh, just a uh, I don't know what you call it I guess it's a, a pipe fitting a barb pipe fitting and then a Schrader valve and a thirty psi tester it was like overall I think like ten bucks and I already had the bicycle pump so pretty good deal but um these are the parts I replaced. Um, I don't think they actually needed replacing. I just I just did it because um, I had the fuel pump open. So I replaced these two gaskets. Um, I couldn't see anything really terribly wrong with the. I mean, there's there was nothing in here. I mean, nothing. So but I replaced it anyway. Um, and then these these two this diaphragm. I replaced the uh, the gasket that was on the needle valve. Um, because before I isolated the leak, uh, the 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 pressure was not holding in the in the um, in the needle valve. I I didn't know it was actually it wasn't leaking at the needle valve. It was leaking at at the bicycle pump. I actually held the entire pressure test underwater, and the pressure tester wasn't leaking. And nope, it was the bicycle pump. And then I replaced the um, this diaphragm, and then oh, this is another. Uh, this is another um, gasket that went on in between these, the, the, the top fuel pump assembly and uh, the, the two parts of the fuel pump assembly. But um, yeah, that's that's my carburetor, and yep, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll put it back together in the morning and see how it goes. Wish me luck.